and welcome in Lourdes. We're here at the test event, so it actually feels like a day where you're back at school, but the summer holidays have been, I don't know, like 12 years. And so I don't know if you're aware about it or not, but we have a new promoter for the races. So this is a test, so we're gonna see what's new, what's working, what's good or bad, in my opinion. So it's a, we keep an open mind. And yeah, it's super nice, it's sunny, the track apparently is mega. Let's have a little chill weekend, do some good runs. No new bikes, no new kits, that's a little bit sad because we're not ready for it. But uh, still nice, so let's go check it out. C'est mon numéro C'est pas 15 Kate up, c'est bien. C'est mon numéro de la bike. C'est Dylan Fernandez. We're here at the gate, so walk up vibe, but uh, not really. So track work now. Track looks really dry, just uh, how I like it. I love this place. So many memories. Last year was actually pretty cool. And yeah, we're gonna go check it out. You can see already the tape that they use is a bit different. So let's try to get familiar with this, and then yeah, let's go. We're here at the bottom of the track. Um, track is mega. A lot of uh, similarities with last year, except it's way drier, which uh, which I like. But we don't know yet if it's gonna be wet or not in the weekend. So hopefully it stays a bit dry. I wanted to show you that because that's the new thing on the taping side of things. Uh, so they used those poles in the ground and then it's kind of pad to i don't know like like li limitate the track but in some sections like here if you come out of the berm and you hook it like it's a little bit on the way so i don't know exactly what's the purpose of the those mats because on some other sections too like they're exactly where you want to be so you will have to be close to them and i don't know maybe you can bunny hop them maybe not maybe you, it's really easy to clip your pedal inside and it's sketchy so we will see what they say and then that's also like a tape that they're using that looks to me I don't know what the final version will be but right now it looks really bad and actually it's not breakable I think so depending on where you miss you make a mistake and get off the track it might be sketchy that it's not breakable so that's the two things I remember from it but some sections actually have no tape anymore which is looking nice and the poles seem way safer than what they used to be. They have like really good flex, so you can hit them without being sketchy or hitting your pedal and go over the bars. We have to maybe give some feedback so they can I don't know, adjust it. We'll see. Day two, uh, practice is starting, and I could see already a lot of good guys going up. So it's like, oh, f it's business day.
first day finished, it was kind of hectic today. It started to rain a lot. The track, I think, was really dry for a long time. So the first water on it made it mega slippery. So it kept on raining and everybody was saying, fuck, it's so sketchy. It's really hard to just even go down. So I was like, mm, maybe I don't go anymore. But actually, in the end, with Loris, we were like, let's go try to feel how it is. And, and then we went and it was actually super sketchy, but fun. We had some off-the-track moments and stuff, but in the end, I had some stuff to try on the bike, uh, on the helmet too for the rain. Like, it was pretty productive, so we're really happy. And like, we could make it as productive as possible, even though it wasn't so fun. But uh, now I'm pretty happy. And I have anti-doping. I didn't know. I have to go pee over there now. So that's a surprise here. This event has come to an end. It's a little bit shitty for the boys that they have to pack up now and wet. But uh, today was really weird. Somehow in the morning, I really didn't feel like it was rest day, which it wasn't. But I was at the top. I was like, okay, let's go. Blah, blah, blah. And then it started to rain. I was like, maybe I take the, f the train down. <laughs> I was not so keen to, to ride a super slippery track. At the first turn, I almost crashed. Next rock, super slippery, almost crashed again. So I was like, what am I doing? And then from there, I rode pretty solid, tried to put more intensity. And uh, at the bottom, I was third. So I finished third today, which was good. But the Jackson was just in front of me. Thibaut was uh, 1 second point eight, I think. But he was like on a walk up there. Like he crossed the line through the bike. was like, yeah! Like super high, I was like, and then Jordan was the fastest qualifier and he was gonna smoke us all. Like it was 1.7 on Thibaut, so he's gonna put like like three seconds on me. So I'm pretty happy of how it went today. Like it was so relaxed. I, I think I really took it easy and still ended up being able to do a solid run. So good sign. And then we solid on the wet. Three races since the beginning of the year, three races on the wet. So I'm pretty over it, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. And uh, hopefully the World Cups are dry. Thanks for watching, nothing happened during the weekend, it was a bit boring, but uh, at least we got a test event. Oh, and we should talk about what worked or not, actually. So test event wise, we had to test the, the padding, the taping, everything. That was actually pretty good. Like I didn't feel like it was a, too big of a change. There's maybe some things to adapt and, uh, and uh, improve, but mainly the biggest change was today's schedule. Two hours practice from nine to 11. And then first run 12.15, knowing that the funicular, the train up, was super long, so we didn't have much time to regroup, recover, chill before practice and run one. And same between run one and two, like finished maybe around 12.30, and I had to go back up at 1.15, like 1.20. So it's not even an hour before you have to go back up to the top. So at the walk up, if you have that small amount of time to eat, debrief, recover, like chill a bit, you don't have time for all that. So it's really tricky and I think we should uh, talk about it and change it a little bit. But overall, the people that are involved here are super keen to make it work, it seems like. So it's good news and I like them. 
and hopefully it's gonna be a good season for everybody and I won't get smoked by the juniors all day. Yeah.